providing a 360 degree health care uh, in which includes easy accessibility of hospital services to all three dimensional care that heals the body mind and the soul patient counseling and on wellness and health and continued follow up of the patient and how it helps to achieve these goals i was reminded of one of uh, students of mine who completed his dnb from this hospital went on to work in a big corporate hospital in bangalore and was asking him how his experience there is he said everything is fine but the biggest problem i face is i don't have synapse and ehis as we have in puttaparthi so if you are used to an it system and if you don't have it how handicap you feel and when i was asked to speak about this topic what came to my mind was i started my post graduation my residency in a hospital government hospital where there was no it then i did my fellowship in a hospital where things were half it and half manual and now i am working in a hospital where everything is it enabled so i thought i will take you through these scenarios and that will be the best way to communicate how it has helped me in delivering better better patient care a long waiting queue uh, in front of the registration counter the registration was manual everything used to be asked written down the same information during during asked during every visit of the patient uh, the patients the queue was endless and in front of the opd also the queue was endless in that hospital because if you are able to keep your chit first you will be called first so there always used to be a hassle around the opd always patient waiting but this was my opd yesterday uh, the registrations are completed very fast because it just needs clicks on the computer and after their registration patients are comfortably waiting in their respective seats uh, for their call this is our card this is uh, i really wanted to uh, impress upon you the uh, importance of that photo there when i used to sitting in opd i would take a cheat call uh, chit op chit as they call call a patient by name sunil kumar sunil kumar comes and sits i really don't have a mechanism to think and understand whether it is the same sunil kumar there can be another sunil kumar also and when the history doesn't corroborate with what the patient is saying then only i realize that uh, it's a different patient and uh, i am at a wrong uh, chit but here since the patient names are arranged in an alphabetical order when i call out sunil kumar i know that there are three sunil kumars who have come on that day so i am very careful and if i have any doubt i just need to click on the patient's name the photo pops up on my screen i can see the photo and make sure that it is the same patient so it is very important in terms of patient uh, uh, safety uh, the patient access as i said is very much improved with the introduction of iit and it's just not confined to uh, hospital alone that's what i want to stress we have a website where patients can go in and see whether the disease for which they are seeking treatment is available the treatment is available in this hospital and most of our uh, outside appointments are through emails the patient sent all their medical records i sit and see screen them tell them that they can come or i can say that this treatment is not available in this hospital so uh, you need not come so much of effort can be saved in that patient many a times these interactions go a little beyond giving appointments you say you tend to advise them what you need is care from a local rheumatologist or you need to be evaluated by a neurologist so some additional inputs you can give which is also important in patient counseling and when patients who are treated who go out when they have some problem they always have the option of emailing if they get problems and uh, getting a solution from us and of course telemedicine will be demonstrated as a solid system for follow up of patient which involves uh, faculty or uh, doctors from the local area using information technology that was the era 8 years ago the era of uh, non digital x rays that you used to take lot of time in the dark rooms and drying and the queue before the x ray room was uh, large the waiting was quite large and the quality of these x rays were also in question sometimes you tend to over diagnose sometimes you tend to under diagnose then came the digitally developed prints which are more which are of more quality but what we work with now in this hospital is the miraculous fax system where x rays are projected on the computer screen you can do anything with these x rays you can increase the contrast decrease the contrast turn the windows from bone to soft tissue you can invert uh, you can do everything to get the information you want you can zoom in you can zoom out whatever you want you can do you can even do planning of your uh, surgical procedures on these x ray and the most important thing is that the 
X-rays and all the medical information is available in all computers across the hospital. Wherever you want to deliver patient care, be it in OT, be it in the OPD, be it in emergency, any data pertaining to the patient comes onto your computer screen and everything is available. So just for patient access, Access for doctors is also very important. We have a web-enabled information system and the PAX, which is a picture archival system. That means to say that whatever X-ray that the patient has in this hospital, right from the first day he came to the current day, that will be available for review. Whatever department he has attended, whatever consultations he has done, whatever medicines he has taken, everything will be available for a review in just one click. And it is important for security reasons. Nurses will get whatever they need to access. Doctors will get whatever they need to access. It is a well-customized system. And as uh, Kanansa said, it's a quick and personalized communication system, including SMS and web mails. And we have even facility to uh, discuss X-ray with the access is given to consultants outside India also. I have sat and discussed MRIs and CTs with consultants from UK and US in this hospital sitting in this room and all of them seeing the same images at the same time, exchanging their opinions. In our hospital, we have a unique system of COW, the computer on wheels. Computer comes to the bedside of the patient, and you have access to everything pertaining to the patient, including lab reports, old records, data, whatnot. And this is the danger if you give the x-ray to the patient and ask him to take care of it. He comes back with all the tempered marks and the colors and designs on it, and you're supposed to plan a total hip replacement on this patient. So that old system of paper x-ray is now gone. Never depend on it. And this is the fate of a case record which is used, overused, and abused by specialists all over. But by the time the admission is over, this is the fate of the record. So as time proceeds, you will know what will happen. It will need repair by all these medical and non-medical available devices. So the era of paper documentation is gone. Data has to be stored electronically. And again, the question of prescription errors and transcription errors, because doctors I agree that they're very poor in doing repetitive jobs. Uh, first you write paracetamol, then you write paracet, then you write PCT, then you write PT. You tend to use short forms. So if you're asked doing the same things, you tend to use short forms. If you're asked to write, repeat an order from today to tomorrow, you are likely to miss one thing. Okay, but, uh, and what happens in uh, non-IT enabled hospitals is the case file may not be available at all times. The nurses will transcribe all doctor's orders in their registers. And the delivery of medicine is based on that register. There is a chance of transcription error. When they write from one to other, they can write it differently. They can miss one thing. But here is a scenario where you have a list of drugs from your formulary. You select what you want. So there is no short forms. Okay. And today's order, if you want to repeat tomorrow, you select whatever you want. You delete whatever you want so that you know that everything has been transcribed. And if you, add, if you want to add something, you add something. And if the sister wants a copy, she just needs to take a printout. There is no transcription error. So here, it is, everything is paperless. Information is fed into the information system at the source. The doctor himself types his surgical notes, types his uh, assessment notes. Uh, everything is done by the doctor himself at the source. And it is based on uh, templates and drop downs and check boxes so that uh, the typing is minimized and errors are minimized. And another thing is you can use the same data for multiple purposes. Suppose an initial assessment is spelt, uh, is uh, entered promptly. Suppose uh, uh, lab reports come automatically, radiological uh, reports come automatically. You can just cut and paste all these and make a beautiful discharge summary without an error of transcription. But of course, we have to respect the first step. When you enter the data for the first time, it has to be perfect. Otherwise, the mistake gets multiplied. And the decision support tools are available anywhere. For example, we can access all the patient's X-rays, CTs, and MRIs in the OT. And in our intranet, we have put all orthopedic textbooks. So wherever I am, if I want to have a doubt, I don't need to go to the library. I can see the computer in front of me, access the book I want, and get the information. Similarly, if you have access to journals, that also helps. And we have gone one step ahead. The patient ICU monitors are now uh, transferred to patients' computers and in personal computers. And the most important thing is like we have a column called all reports. If we just click that all reports, 
one category. It may be history, it may be lab reports, it may be radiological report. Entire report, maybe across 10 years, you will get in one screen arranged in the chronological order. So that is another beautiful thing uh, that happens in our EHIS. So the advantage of centralized information availability is that everyone who needs to know the information, it is there. Suppose a patient comes to me, he may not tell me about the old urological disease or the cardiac disease he had. But when I open his history, I know that he had a myocardial infarction, he had underwent a surgery that has an impact on my treatment. Similarly, when a med physician uh, treats my diabetes, my patient with diabetes, he knows that he is going for a surgery in three days. So accordingly, he will treat the patient. So another thing is it enables correlation. Suppose a patient comes with a problem. In one click, I know that the patient had a similar problem in the past. It responded to this treatment. It did not respond to that treatment. That information I know. So I, I will use the treatment which responded. So there are a lot of benefits for a centralized availability. In one click, I, I get the list of patients. In another click, I get all details of the patient and another click, I get all x-rays of the patient. So it has made life very easy. I said I worked in another hospital where, which was half IT and half manual. Half IT means only the x-rays and lab reports were IT enabled. Everything else was manual and that never solved the system. So I really believe that if it is IT, it has to be full IT because the patient registration process remained uh, tedious. Every time the patient had to get his file back that involved long queues. Here, all files are in the system. So the moment patient comes, I just need to click, I get all files, scanned copy of the files. Another interesting thing was that we had a lot of colored papers. Uh, one color for X-ray, one color for MRI, one color for uh, Doppler, one color for hematology, one color for biochemistry. We used to handwrite all these orders and give it to the patients. The patient will go to a data entry operator and get everything ordered electronically. So again, a lot of patient waiting. And uh, the patient would come back with big files which you need to really scan and understand what happened to the patient. There was a lot of uh, hassle there. And the packs in that hospital was limited. <laughs> Up to two years, you get the x-rays in one click. Beyond that, the storage was less. So you need to send a request and keep on refresh, refresh. In 20, 30 minutes, you get the x-ray. So if IT has to be enabled, it has to be enabled fully uh, like in our hospital. And another issue was uh, if the documentation is manual, not IT enabled, the doctors will record what they think is relevant. So when you think in terms of a research point of view, you need to have a uniform documentation. So if you set up a system in computer and make sure the doctors document in the same format, when you come back after 10 years for a research, you get the data in the same format for research. So this is our beautiful system uh, that we follow in our hospital for a comprehensive IT enablement. Uh, regarding labs and orders, uh, labs and radiology. The order goes to the system, and from there, uh, the patient goes to the CT or MRI, whatever. The radiology images are loaded in the packs back to the doctor's computer. Similarly, samples, the patient goes to the lab. By the time the order would have gone to the lab through the system, if it is an abnormal result, believe me, an SMS comes at the moment to my phone. It's a beautiful thing to happen so that even one or two hours of delay is avoided. And if it's a normal result, it goes to the computer again and back to the doctor. Patient just needs to meet the doctor, go to the lab or x-ray and come back to the doctor. No forms, no ordering, no cues, nothing. It's a very good system, very much patient-centric system. And when it comes to research, in one click, you get the list of surgeries performed over the last 10 or 15 years. Take one patient, just write, enter that ID, unique ID, you get all history, all surgical notes, all images, all lab reports, and everything that has happened to the patient, including the latest follow-up, what happened in the OPD every time the patient visited. You get all x-rays, all lab parameters. The you, documentation is uniform, so there is an opportunity of comparability for study. And you can make customized program for your analysis and IT enables literature search also. To be very honest, I just did one research project during my residency. I just did one research project during my fellowship because it was very manual. It was, it was very laborious. The thought of doing a research project itself would discourage you. But as an orthopedic department in the last six to eight months, if we 
uh, presented, pres made presentations and posters on 15 to 20 different topics. That is only because of the IT department. Thank you very much for this wonderful opportunity.